Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So I need a theme song. Everybody has theme songs now. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know what kind of look I'm doing today, but we're doing a look. We're gonna feature the Modern Renaissance palette today. I think I'm gonna go for more of a neutral look because I have some special lipsticks that I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video. The first color I'm gonna go in with is the shade Raw Sienna, and I'm also gonna use the new Real, uh, Real Techniques brush set that I got from, from my little sister for Christmas the domed shadow brush. I'm gonna use that all over, oh, I don't, mm. It's a little stiff. This is kind of stiff. The brush? Yeah, it's a little bit stiff. It's like, this is very dense. So I'm thinking it's good for like an all over, all over the lid shade just to even out the base color, but I don't think I would use this to blend any eyeshadows together. I don't think I like that brush. Maybe I just need to get used to it. I'm just used to the brushes that I already use. In the set, it comes with, what, four other brushes, shading brush, which I think will come in handy. This one is a smudge brush. If I want to like smudge my eyeliner. This one is a contour brush and I think it looks like it's gonna fit nicely in here. And then this one is a bronzer brush, which I was thinking would be for like all over foundation. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Burnt Orange and the same Real Techniques brush. See how much use I can get out of this brush. It all right for the the crease area, but mm, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this brush just yet. I'm gonna take the shade Red Ochre and I'm gonna use the same exact brush. I'm gonna put this right in here. I can get a lot of use out of this brush though. Like, I've already used it for three different shades. Same brush. I don't really like switching my brushes every time I pick up a new shade. There isn't another brush in this set that is less dense and um, used for blending, so I'm gonna take my own blending brush that's a little bit less dense than the one that I was just using. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna kind of diffuse that out, what I just did. The next shade that I'm gonna take is, we're gonna use a little bit of the pink shade. We're gonna take the shade Love Letter. We're gonna pop that in the crease as well. Right in here. A little bit lower towards the lash line. Not so close to the brown bone. Use this. This shade is gonna go underneath the shade that we just applied. shade Primavera and I'm gonna put this on my lid using the Real Techniques shading brush. I'm gonna spray it though with Fix Plus just to see if we can get some even, even pigmentation. Oh wow. I like this brush. This one's really nice. Mixing these two. 
now I've done a full face of makeup. I put my foundation on. I used my Fenty foundation, which is my baby. And I used my Real Techniques uh, brush that I like to use. This is a face brush. It's a foundation brush, and I love this brush. But back to the collection that I'm talking about, this recently released one. I'm gonna now use my smudge brush and I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line and see how this performs. The shade that I'm gonna use on my lower lash line um, is, first I'm gonna do red ochre on the outer part of my lash line and then I'm gonna take love letter and I'm gonna put this on the inside, like on the inner corner. So starting with red ochre, tap off the excess a little bit and go in. I actually really do like this brush. This one is gonna come in handy in my collection because I don't think I have, I don't have a flat little smudger brush like this, so this is good. And now I'm gonna take Love Letter and I'm gonna bring this in towards the inner corner. Now I'm going to take Primavera and I'm just going to pop that on the inside. I already have that shade. Using the same smudger brush. I think it's really useful when you can use like one brush for the base color, the crease color, the outer corner. I like stuff like that so I find that this brush was very useful. Um, the shader brush was definitely very useful for my under eye and I'm sure I could smudge a nice wing if I was doing that kind of look today and my inner corner I could use this for my inner corner um, This one the what is this one called again? The shading brush was really nice. It applied the eyeshadow really nicely on my lid I'm not sure how else I'm gonna be able to use this one yet, but I'll figure out some other ways I'm pretty sure I could I don't know. We'll figure something else out, but I like being able to have variety with my brushes so the next brush that I'm gonna end up using is the contour brush. I'm not like huge on contouring. I don't contour all the time. But when I do, I always contour using my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. The technique that I usually use is I take my brush and I rub it against the product like so, and then I put it on my face. Instead of directly putting the product on my face and creating that stark line, I don't like that look. Um, some people do, but for me, not my vibe. So we're gonna rub it against the product. Let's see how it came off on the brush. There's a little bit of product there. So I think that should be enough. Let's see what this does. I'm gonna start right here in the hollow of my cheek and I'm just gonna bring this in. The brush feels really nice and soft. It's not um, spiky or anything like that. Feels good. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more product though, because definitely didn't do enough. I actually really, really like this brush already. I feel like it's the perfect size. This brush is perfect for the hollows on my cheek. It's not too big, it's not too small. Okay. I see you, real techniques. I see you. And I feel like you could use this brush as well, not just for contouring, but like if you don't like a lot of blush, you could also use this on just the apples of your cheek for a little bit of blush. You know, multiple ways to use one brush. This brush here says it's a bronzing brush. I don't, I don't really know how to feel about that. I might as well just go ahead and try it. The bronzer that I'm actually gonna end up using is my Becca one that I always use every day. So I'm gonna pop that in there. I mean, I guess you can see the product on there. It picked up the product very lightly. There's not a lot of product on the brush, so I'm curious to see how this applies on my face. It looks like it's gonna cover a lot of space, and I don't like a whole lot of bronzer everywhere. But, well. I think 
I'll be using this brush for other things besides bronzer. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm-mm. No. All right, that's a no. I'm not gonna be using this brush for bronzer. I don't, I don't like that. I like to use a brush that comes to a nice little point. This is another Real Techniques brush, but this one is listed as a blush brush, but I actually, I actually use it as a bronzer brush. So I always get in like the hollows of my cheeks right here for my bronzer and I bring it down here and I bring it on the forehead. And I think this one for me works better for bronzer. For blush today, I'm also going to use another Real Techniques brush, and I'm also going to use this um, MAC shade that I use all the time in the color Raisin. This is the brush that I use for blush all the time, and it's a multitask brush. It's rounded nicely so that I can just get right here on the apples of my cheek without feeling like it's covering too much space. And this is just a multitasking brush, which I feel like is more suitable than anything else that I have in my collection. All right, so I'm back with my thoughts about these brushes that I tried out today. I think this is a nice brush set for beginners and people that don't want to spend a lot of money on their brushes. You got three eyeshadow brushes in here, contour, and bronzer. This is not a bronzing brush. I don't like it for bronzing. I would, I mean, I would rather put like my all over powder maybe using this, but even then, I don't know if I would want to use powder products using this brush. I would try to use maybe like my liquid foundations maybe and see how that stipples on. I don't know. I just didn't really like this as a bronzer brush. I love this brush as a contour brush. I thought this was really, really nice. It fit into my cheeks really, really good. Um, so I enjoy using this and it's going to be in heavy rotation in my everyday contour routine. This, what is this? Uh, this smudge brush was really, really nice for me to get underneath my lash line. And I know if I do like a smoky eye, I'd be able to smoke out my wing using this brush. So this one is a really nice brush as well. I also like the shader brush. The shader brush was pretty. I have to use this again to really complete my full thoughts on this brush because I'm not like super sure how I feel about it. I'll put it to the test again just to make sure. And then you got your domed shadow brush. Now at first when I put this on, I just felt like it was just way too dense and I didn't know how I was going to be able to blend my colors out, but I was able to get really nice um, blending going on in the side using just this brush. I used three different colors with one brush. So I mean, I guess that does say a lot about the brush itself. This is a really good collection. I would suggest getting this. This is exclusive to Target, I think. I can't, I wasn't able to find these at Ulta. So if you're interested, check this set out. And they have like two more other sets, I think. How pretty is that? I mean, that's, that's cute. I'm gonna finish this look off using my Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick. These are brand new. If you wanna see me apply this lipstick, click my next video. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. My hands do actually bad.